on the minus side, we lost the game, but on the po po positive side, we, we won the series. Um, Asher, first appearance in the major leagues. I liked him. I liked his stuff. I liked his approach. He got behind too often. He left the ball up in the, in the zone a little bit too often. So it's understandable when he's uh, a guy's in his first major league appearance in front of the home team. Um, on the other hand, also, for James Shields, he pitched a good game. He had, wasn't on his A game, and he just kept us off, off balance with a variety of soft and hard, and uh, we couldn't muster up a big inning. But uh, getting back to Asher, the thing I liked about it, it kind of reminded me of when Eikhoff had that, that outing where he gave up the three runs early and just gutted it out and gave us, uh, what, another five innings. That's a good sign for these young guys, and that's what I really liked about Asher today. Herrera got the four hits. It was good to see Cesar get a, a couple of hits. He needed to get that, those hits to get his confidence up. And um, uh, Rupp's home run hit a monster home run. So those are the positive uh, aspects that came out of that game. You talk about Asher and Eichoff. That's a poise thing, I imagine. You yeah, you know, we, you don't really expect a guy making his first appearance at the major league level to be that poised and, and look and have that kind of a mound presence. We've, we're fortunate that we've got Nola who did it, we've got Eikhoff who did it, and actually so did Asher today because he really came back after a, uh, kind of a struggling in the first inning and he came back and battled, he battled through it, got us into the sixth inning. And uh, you know if he doesn't give up that run in the sixth, he ends up with a quality start. He just hung a, a fastball to, to the pitcher. But uh, you got to like <coughs> that kind of grit from your, your players, especially you moved, your starters. You moved Jerome Williams, but is there anything else you guys have discussed or anything that can pop into your head about what to do about the middle inning bullpen? About our, bull, about our bullpen? It, it's difficult. You know, we're, we think about players, uh, pitchers that we might have below. And um, at this point in that, in that uh, role, um, you know, we're going to be adding some players September 1st, a couple of pitchers. I'm not quite sure how many, but we're going to, that's the best we can do at this point um, before the 40-man the roster. Herrera gets four hits today, uh, gets uh, picked off. Uh, he's hitting 350 his last 30 games or so. How, how would you rate his, what you've seen from him so far? Well, you know, the thing, let's, let's talk about Cesar first. You know, Cesar... Uh, needs to battle out of the slump he, he's in. And he's done that. Today was a good sign to give him confidence. Herrera, same thing. His average was like dwindling, dwindling just a bit. You know, he got under, under 290. And he, re, he rebounds with four hits today. That, those kind of things are important for these players to, to show they're capable of doing. They don't get into prolonged slumps. They know how to get out of them. Freddie did it early in the season. Uh, so it's great to see. You know, it gives you confidence for, for the rest of the season and in the, in the future, if that answers your question. Just to look at him as a little bit raw, like things like getting picked off first there. Schultz has a pretty good move. You, you got to well, be smarter than that. Yeah, you know, um, if you're not trying to steal a base, you shouldn't get picked off, you know. But uh, Shields has an outstanding quick move to, to first base. It's going to happen. It's, a, it's a, basically a mental mistake, and those are the type of mistakes we try to eliminate. But you know what? Uh, Herrera is going to mean he's going to be real good for us. Did you change your mind about Hernandez having a day off, or did you talk to him? Or? Yeah, I, I, you know, I went back and forth between should I let him battle out of this or should I give him another breather? Because I just gave him a day off a few days ago, and I, I just decided to make him battle out of it. That's what we need to see. You know, if he's going to be the everyday second second baseman, we want him to play 160 games. That's what we want. You know, and give him two days off. <laughs>